Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at chapter 7, Air. Okay, so for this chapter, we have three subtopics. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at the first subtopic, which is composition of air. So by the end of this video, I hope you will be able to plan ways to determine and record the composition of air. Second is to synthesize the composition of air from a pie chart. And the third one is to justify the importance of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and inert gases in daily life. Okay, let us start. So what are the contents of air? So air is a mixture, okay, adalah campuran, is a mixture of several gases, which are nitrogen, which is about 78%, and then we have oxygen, about 21%, inert gases and other substances about 0.97% and the least amount of gas in the air is the carbon dioxide which is about 0.03% so the biggest amount of gas in the air is the nitrogen okay and we have example of inert gases for example we have helium argon neon, xenon, and krypton. So those are examples of inert gases. Okay? Besides these gases, there are also other components that exist in the air, which are microorganisms, water vapor, and also dust. Okay, so here we have an activity to determine the percentage of oxygen in the air. Okay, so what we have is we have a lighted candle that is put in an inverted gas jar. And the gas jar, they are divided into five equal parts. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Ada lima bahagian. Okay, kita lukis pakai marker. Right? And then we observe what happened to the water level when the flame of the candle goes out. Dan kita perhatikanlah apa yang akan jadi uh, kepada uh, water level. Okay, paras air itu apabila apabila lilin itu tidak menyala lagi. Okay, so after few minutes, what we can see. Okay, the flame goes out and the water level rise. Okay, daripada ini original dia. Okay, we don't have the water inside here, inside the gas jar. Okay, and then when the flame goes out, flame of the candles goes out, the water level rises by one-fifth of the air space in the gas jar. Okay, this means that oxygen has been used up by the uh, by the burning candle okay so from this activity it shows that one fifth of the air contains oxygen so as a conclusion to this activity you can say that air consists of 20 percent oxygen right okay so is air a mixture Yes, air is a mixture and air can be separated by a physical method which is fractional distillation. Again, okay, the final parts for this video would be importance of gases. So what are the importance of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and inert gases? Okay, so for oxygen, oxygen is used for respiration. So all living organisms, they need oxygen to respire, okay, untuk bernafas, okay. And the oxygen is also used in rocket and also used in welding and steel cutting and also for preparation of various compounds, okay. 
For carbon dioxide, okay, carbon dioxide is used in the production of carbonated drinks, okay, minuman bicarbonate. And then carbon dioxide also can be found in fire extinguisher. Also, carbon dioxide is used for photosynthesis, okay, plants, they, they need carbon dioxide in order to carry out the process of photosynthesis. And carbon dioxide is also important in the carbon cycle. So we'll be looking at carbon cycle in the next video. Okay. And then nitrogen is important for nitrogen cycle. And then other than that, we have the liquid nitrogen that can act as cooling agent. And also nitrogen also used to produce fertilizer. Alright, for inert gases, we have different examples of inert gases just now okay we have helium neon argon xenon and krypton okay so here we only list three of them all right so helium is used to fill hot air balloons and also weather balloons whereas neon gas is used in advertising light and also argon gas is used in the light bulbs Okay, so those are the importance of gases. So that's all. Thank you.